Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Gate.io cryptocurrency exchange. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, we'll be discussing how to create your account here, how do you add crypto, how do you send crypto, as well as verifying your account. In this case, first things first, is we need to go to Get.io, which is Get.io. So open up any browser, go to their website here, and from here, since we are now in the website, we now need to create our account. Now at the top right of your screen, you should see the login or sign up button. Let's go ahead and choose the sign up button. Now from here, we need to fill out some information regarding our account. So that includes the email that we want to use and a password as well as the country region in here. So in this case, let's go and choose the appropriate country here. So in this case, I'm going to choose uh, Philippines here as my country. And I now need to enter my email as well as my password. And also, I need to accept the user agreement here and privacy policy. Now, if you want to read them, you can go and click on user agreement here and the privacy policy as well to read them. Now, also, alternatively, you could also sign up using your already existing Google account. In this case, you could also use a Microsoft account as well as your Telegram account if you want to. For example, I'm going to use my Google account here to sign up. Let's go and choose our email address here. From here, let's go and click on continue. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to set our password. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and fill out those details. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and complete this one. Now, the next thing you want to do here is you now need to enter the verification code that you'll be receiving on your email. In this case, let's go open up our Gmail here. Look for any emails that you see from Get.io get here. And let's go, go ahead and copy the actual code here and paste it. Now, once you paste in it, it's going to automatically load things for you. It's now going to say create an account here. So the next thing you want to do here is you now need to verify yourself. So in this case, you can go and click on verify now. And that would actually redirect you to the verification page. But if you click on the get IO here, you should be able to see your main homepage here. But again, since we want to verify yourself or if you've accidentally went to a different page, you can still access this on your account. Now at the top right, you should be able to see a profile photo of your account. Let's go ahead and hover over it. And from here, you want to go ahead and hover on the following option, which is going to be the individual identity verification. In this case, go ahead and click on verify now. And from here, you need to fill out all the necessary information. That includes your nationality, country of residence, your first name, your last name, as well as the certificate tab. In this case, either driver's license or a passport or national ID. Now, once you provide all those details, they will actually uh, verify your identity. So this might take a few days or a few hours for them to actually uh, verify that. But once your identity is verified, you'll be able to actually uh, have your account or you'll be able to access different features that Get.io actually offers here. Now, if you're not aware yet, you need to verify yourself to access most of the features that Get Get.io here offers, which later on I'll be showing you. Now, first things first is we need to view things on our Get.io account here. So in this case, we need to go to our profile. Again, at the top right, go ahead and hover over it, click on profile. Now, from here, your profile will contain your general information. That includes the name of your account, your UID, your sign up time, your phone number, email address, and third party logins that is enabled in your account. Now, again, if you want to verify yourself, you go to the verification section here, click on in either individual verification if you're just using it for personal use. But if you're part of a company, you could use the corporate verification here. Now, if you're going to use corporate verification here, this will actually require additional documents from you. So in this case, you need to have those prepared first. Now, to further increase the security of your account, you want to use the security verification options here. Uh, for example, you could basically add a Google Authenticator here, so TOTP. So in this case, if you want to set that up, just click on the link option here, and that should load up the Authenticator here. So in this case, just click on the turn on button here for Google Authenticator. Now, you could also choose the advanced options here, like anti phishing code here. If you want to turn that on, get U key, withdrawal settings, and ver verification, uh, security verification as well. So in this case, if you want to uh, manage your passwords, or for example, fund, uh, fund password here, this is used for protecting your fund security. Now in this case, if you want to set this up, every time you're withdrawing or you're uh, managing your funds, it's going to request you to enter your fund password here. So again, if you want to set that up, uh, you could go ahead. 
But in this case, uh, you could use it as is, but as you can see, by default, the security level is going to be low. I would suggest you at least make it into medium or high here, just to make sure that you're securing your accounts, because we're talking about funds here online. So we're talking about cryptocurrency, which in this case, people might steal. So again, it's required that you fill out all the entire details here and complete them. Now, if you want to view vouchers here, so vouchers are great for you to earn more, like you could get uh, more out of your uh, cash ins or your uh, uh, but you get more from buying crypto. So if you uh, you'll be you'll be able to see it in here, and you should you should be able to see the tasks and bonuses here. So also have my points, your claim history. Uh, so also the task bonuses here is a good way for you to uh, basically get more. So for example, uh, cons consecutive 7 to 14 days attempts will reward with points. So in this case, you should be able to claim points via this section here. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on just attend here, but we first need to verify. Again, most of the features that is available in Get.io would depend on you verifying yourself. Now in this case, you should be able to see the My Fee section as well. So in this case, uh, trading fees here and whatnot. So uh, also have the sub accounts and APIs if you want to view that. So you should, if you have sub accounts, APIs that you want to uh, see is where you'll be, you'll be able to see them. So in this case, you need a TOTP or Google Dedicator for you to use the API, API key management section. And settings would actually contain your settings, like for example, your avatar, the picture that you have, your nickname, your payment methods, or P2P trading here, your P2P trade block list, and other settings like notifications, direct messages, and your delivery address. Now, you also have the payment settings here, which in this case, you need to add your payment uh, settings here for you to start buying crypto online. Now, in this case, you also have my tickets here, which contains any tickets that you've submitted to support. Like for example, if you encounter something, uh, you could go and create your own ticket here. You just need to specify a few things here, like oh, what issue do you encounter here, which section, I wanna. Now, in this case, if you're planning to buy in crypto, you could go to the buy crypto at the top section here, and you could either choose the following option. So you could buy either uh, crypto via Express here, which in this case, you'll be able to exchange or buy crypto via, from your wallet if you already have funds in your account. Now, in this case, uh, you have an, an Express. It's going to give you the option to view things here. So let's go ahead and go. As you can see, it's going to give you an option to either buy or sell here. And you can either use a Visa or MasterCard or PayPal here. So before you are able to actually use this one, you need to, again, provide some basic information and verify yourself. So you can also cash in via the debit or credit cards if you want to use your card to buy crypto. You can also buy sell crypto via a bank transfer. So you could actually connect your account. Now you also have the get card here. So in this case, convert your crypto and pay using get visa card worldwide. So in this case, you could actually get a visa card from get IO here, which you could use for paying for things online. So you also have P P2P trading here, which is quite advanced here. So you'll be buying from crypto from actual users or actual trade or basic trade with different users using USDT here. But in this case, uh, since you're just starting up, if you want to buy a crypto, you can either use debit card or bank transfer here. If you use debit card here, it will redirect you to this page here. Again, you could choose your payment method here, uh, what type of payment channel you wanna get or use. So make sure to uh, take in consideration how much they actually convert. Like for example, uh, right now uh, for Bangsa, they have one USDT here, which is equivalent to 1.63 AUD. So make sure to choose what payment uh, channel here that would uh, that would actually give you a lot. So they also recommend you the highest fees that you want to uh, get here for Get Connect. So yeah, again, you need to verify yourself for you to start using it. And once you buy your crypto, you can actually access your assets via the assets tab at the top right. In this case, you have the uh, funds management section, which contains overall information about your account. You have the spot account here, ISO management account, futures account, copy trading account. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of type, type of accounts that you could access here. So let's just choose funds management here. And we want to uh, basically, uh, so my bad, let's go ahead and go to spot account here. Because pot account would actually mostly contain your crypto. Whenever you're buying crypto, the first wallet that it's going to go to is going to be your um, your your wallet here for spot. In this case, this is, this is where you'll be able to see your crypto. So you can see you have USD, BTC, LTC, ETH. Now, in this case, uh, you have defaulting options to so either hide assets with zero balance, also have high, hide assets with no liabilities, and whatnot. So in this case, if you want to auto earn on a specific crypto, you could go and turn this on. Now, if you want to withdraw your crypto to a different wallet, you could go and choose withdraw here. And you also have the option to deposit funds by clicking on deposit. 
And the, from the deposit, if you click on deposit here, that would actually allow you to receive crypto in your account. Now, trade allows you to basically switch it to a different type of a cryptocurrency, which is something really cool. Like, for example, if you already have like USDT, if you want to convert that to BTC, you'll be able to trade it. Now, in this case, if you want to earn on that specific uh, crypto, you could use the earn option here, which includes simple earn, uh, hold h-o-d-l and earn auto invest and whatnot so obviously there's going to be a lot of features that you can access here on get io because again uh it is a uh, quite a big feature or a big uh platform here so make sure to do your own research before you access all the tools here but those are the basics for get io and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video